with regard to a statement made by the Minister of External Affairs, uh, Mr. Mangala Samara Bira, with regard to the audit report and um, an allegation that he has made against my person, which I think is very serious, and I would like to respond to this uh, publicly. Because I am a victim of this slander and of a blatant lie for reasons that I don't know, but uh, most probably the minister knows why he said, made this statement. He has misused, I believe that he has misused the fact that I'm a Tamil uh, to automatically, because it's very easy, to automatically brand me as having come forward on behalf of the LTTE, an organization that I have consistently and relentlessly fought against and criticized throughout my private and professional life. The minister offered no arguments and no proof because there is none. Why did the minister misuse public space and cast such a vicious accusation against? What troubles me most is that the minister represents my country abroad and that he's abandoning the very promise that brought him and the government to power for a new and different Sri Lanka. That was the promise that was made. And that was why the people voted for this government. Indeed, shocking that the Minister of External Affairs of the country should summarily dismiss the findings of the Auditor General of this country simply as a complaint, so he's referring to uh, the Auditor General's report, as a complaint, findings of the report, as a complaint by a woman whose hopes have been dashed, and then say that the gov government cannot act on it because it has to follow Yaha Palana. Now, if that's the kind of Yaha Palana that the government has promised to the people of Sri Lanka, and we see unfolding before our eyes only some 70 days uh, into the 100-day program, then the people should be beware of surrendering their sovereignty for not just for 100 days, but it will be for several years to politicians who have nothing but contempt for ordinary citizens of this country. Uh, as a former ambassador uh, of Sri Lanka, uh, it horrifies me that this country should, be, uh, should lose its credibility internationally simply because its foreign minister is a liar. Playing on racist and chauvinist anti-Tamil sentiment just so he can eliminate a person that he considers to be dangerous is not only weak, but it is devastating for the image of the country. In my mind, such a person is unsuitable to represent Sri Lanka internationally.